Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Near the senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this another brand new day. Yes, indeed. The sun is still in the sky. It would take a lot to make that gigantic ball of plasma just vanish. So, good. Good that it's there. I mean, it is a giant radioactive ball of death, but without it, we wouldn't be here. So, hey, all praise raw. Or... I mean, why not? It's it's not going to hurt to call it to call the sun Ra, the sun god. I mean, of course, depending on your spiritual beliefs. I mean, there are some that have you know follow gods that are intensely jealous. There are some that follow gods that are hey, you know, I'm just one of them. Why not pick and choose with some of the others too? So, thumbs up for that. Past that, I only went partial walkies yesterday. I didn't go to Walmart at night. I stayed in and played video games. But before that, I'd had to walk around town to go pay my rent and such. So I got a couple miles worth of walking in of downtown. And so I wasn't really all that worried that I didn't exercise yesterday because I had. I just hadn't gone six miles. I'd gone like, you know, three or four. Thumbs up for that. You only need 150 minutes of moderate exercise, moderate to vigorous, per week. That's only slightly more than two hours. It takes me two hours to do a round trip from here to Walmart and back. So in one day, I can get almost my full week's exercise in. Because I walked that six miles, two hours, that's three miles an hour that's how fast you're supposed to walk if you're going to do moderate to, to vigorous exercise so thumbs up for that so yesterday i just played more games i'm kind of happy about it and you know kind of sad the physical part but the happy part is i'm glad that they're still working on a lot of games even though the company thq nordic is has done some stuff that's not wonderful the particular devs that make the games are not a part of that particular thing i've been replaying the game grim dawn now i've played that game a lot i've gotten characters up to like level 75 i've gotten a character almost to the very end of the main campaign without doing any of the dlc so i've i've played it a lot but they keep working on it they keep altering it, changing it, tweaking it, making it better, adding stuff to it. So they made another change. And I've been playing that again. Very, very good game. So if you're into video games, if you like the point and click, you know, Diablo-esque type gameplay, that's a good one. Definitely a thumbs up for that. <clears throat> I have written a couple things down here. Oh, one of them. I don't do commentary on other people's videos and such i'm just not a commentary type person but i saw some other people talking about this on their commentary channels because i'll watch some commentary stuff i like hearing about some of the minor drama that's going on on youtube but not the big drama big drama just bugs me because a lot of it is so intensely freaking stupid and i don't like stupidity but this was a fellow who was in a like call of duty or i can't remember the exact clan or what it was but it was soar clan s-o-a-r and so he was his name was soar carl and he was a real big player in this team but he had a gun and on a live stream he was playing with his gun and he had a little bit of alcohol in him and he ratcheted that thing and then all of a sudden he accidentally pulled the trigger and he shot a G Fuel container and a cup and was absolutely aston astonished, astounded that this thing fired. He was like, oh, well, he's been kicked out of the Sora clan. He's been banned from Twitch. He's made another video going on to say, yeah, all this stuff that's happened to me and all the stuff that is happening, I'm sorry that it happened, 
but I deserve every bit of it. You gotta be careful, don't be stupid. And yeah, the guy is so lucky that he just shot that thing. I don't like guns, but I'm not super, super anti-gun. I mean, I don't like them. They're designed to kill and primarily to kill people, and I don't like that. I don't want to own a gun. I'm never gonna own a gun. But, so said, I'm pretty good with guns. I mean, when I was younger, I was a sharpshooter in the military, got myself a ribbon for it. I've been to ranges, and using guns is fine. It's just another tool. It's a tool designed to kill, but it's just another tool. And boy, oh boy, as much as I don't like guns, as much as I wish we didn't have them, we do. And boy, gun safety is so important. You always treat a gun like it's got a bullet right in there, ready to fire. Always. You always treat it like that. It doesn't matter if you went and emptied it out. You always treat it like it's loaded. There are so many stories all through history, from ancient history to right now, where somebody thought the gun was unloaded and BAM! It was all over. And there's just so many things you don't do, and he was doing them all. So he's intensely lucky he's even alive. It could have so easily been something else. But yeah, gun safety. We need to teach gun safety to everybody. And if you're going to have a gun, good God, you need to take classes and you need refresher courses on it. One of the big reasons I don't want a gun is primarily if you own a gun for safety and it comes up with a situation where there's people, bad people involved, you're likely going to have that gun used against you. So I'd prefer that they brought their guns to the fight and not use my guns at the fight. I'm not going to fight in a fight. <clears throat> That's just a good way to get killed. I mean a robbery, stuff like that. The best thing to do is just what you're told. But hey, life is life. And my housemates are up because one of my housemates has to go to the dentist. Oh, so much tooth problem. I feel so bad for him. He's going to finally, hopefully, get this one tooth yanked. God, I hope so. Thumbs up on that. Checking out further, there's the pets and emotional pain. I want to talk real quickly on that one because I love my pets to death and I always see like on Facebook when I go through because I'm a part of a couple of hamster groups there's every day somebody posting about how their little hamster died or how their other pet type died and it's just it's painful and awful ah, and I got a fly in the room because my windows open and it's so warm yay but I'll flip over to this camera now but yeah it's we give a piece of our heart to our pets and then when they die we don't get that piece back it's just an open wound that never heals it doesn't matter how small the animal it doesn't matter we still give a piece of our heart away and boy does it hurt thumbs up for that my hamsters are still doing well. Everybody that is awake is far away. They're on those sides of their homes over over here. Little Gojira is a, asleep right next to me though, so I could just reach down and then once if you know if we just ate them as snacks, but so everybody is here and even little Figmo, he's still with me. Like I say, he's not gonna die this week. He's not mainly to live out the full month, but he's close, he's getting bony, and oh, that's gonna hurt. Excuse me. And of course, my kitty cat, Amelia, she's getting older. She's about, well, 17 years old or so. So, that's gonna hurt when she passes. Thumbs up for that. 
She's lived a long time, and that's a good thing. Hopefully she'll keep living in good health, not just keep living. That would be terrible. <coughs> but I just thought I'd mention. Back to this camera. <laughs> it's enjoyable to play with machinery. Well, not necessarily machinery, but equipment and such. This is another one, though. I keep thinking about this one because I keep... I'm having to struggle being a recovering alcoholic, and I know other recovering alcoholics struggle, but the big thing, one of the big reasons that I don't like AA versus other things to stay sober, and it seems to back up research and such with my thoughts on this, because they have found that if you try to stay sober by going to AA and you try to stay sober just by trying to stay sober on your own, they have found that you have a greater chance of staying sober if you just try to do it on your own. Going to AA actually lowers your chances of staying sober. Part of that, I feel, is just the way it's an archaic, outdated thing. The guy that invented the whole thing, their, their Bill W that everybody worships, it's a 12-step program, but 10 of the 12 steps are get right with Jesus. And it's a medical problem, alcoholism. It's not a moral problem. And getting right with Jesus can be a fine thing, <clears throat> but it's not going to help with a medical problem. Another big issue that I really have with AA, thank you, <laughs> is the, the way they make it external, an external fight. And that, I think, right there makes it so much worse for everybody. Because they say that alcohol is a cunning and dangerous thing. No, it's not. It's a liquid. It's no more cunning than a glass of water or a glass of rocks, a glass with a hamster in it, a glass of mud. It's no more cunning than a glass with nothing in it. It's a liquid. It has no mind. You know who does have a mind? We do. And we make the battle worse by saying, oh, it's not me I'm fighting. I'm fighting this. I don't have a problem. This does. I'm fine. This is evil. I'm good. This is trying to trick me. No, you've made the thing external and now you're not fighting the real problem. And you've set yourself up for failure right there. You're not fighting alcohol. You're fighting yourself. That's the main issue. That's what everybody that is a recovering alcoholic has to deal with. You're fighting yourself. You're not fighting alcohol. If you think you're fighting alcohol, you're just exhausting your resources by fighting a straw man. And then when your resources are low and you are exhausted, well then, the real foe says, Hey, you know what? Let's go get a drink. So I don't like AA for a whole bunch of reasons, and I, I just wanted to say that, to, to let people know. <laughs> Why not? <coughs> Excuse me. And just real quick, the thing that bugs me with going on with YouTube, they have the YouTube Studio Classic, which was a real, you know, basic, simple, easy to use thing, and they've got the new YouTube Studio. And they say, you use the new YouTube Studio for everything. Use the new YouTube Studio. I don't like the new YouTube Studio. It's slow. It doesn't work properly. It doesn't work right. And if you want to do some things like appeal a demonetization or appeal co copyright strikes, the official way to do that is you have to use YouTube Legacy Classic. But they're taking away YouTube Legacy Classic before the end of the month for a lot of people like me. Well, I already don't like it 
because it's broken and doesn't work right. Nobody on YouTube likes it because you'll type in all the information that you need on your forms and then you'll upload stuff and then it didn't work. And the carefully planned stuff you put in there, your title is now what it was with your working title on your computer instead of the thing that you typed out. And so you look like an idiot with your publicly put up video of kitty meow meow when you had actually typed in the terraria escape so it doesn't work right the regular the new thing doesn't have the stuff that the classic does but they're taking away the classic one of my speakers is making a loud noise because it's plugged in and it's all powered up now of course earlier it had said what did it say oh power low I got some of these weird Bluetooth speakers. When you turn them on, they go power on in this woman's voice. You turn them off, they go power off, power low. I just want them to turn on and work. I don't want them to talk to me. It's not Alexa or anything. <clears throat> I have opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab, and I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm going to read them later. Right now, I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent comment. The fact is, you left a comment. Thank you so very much. Now, abusive comments, I just toss out. But you can disagree with me violently. And as long as you're not abusive, I don't mind. It's fine. If I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker. And of course, I count in American Sign Language. It, oh, oh boy, because of my memory. I... In my memory is a mess. It's a lot better than it used to be, but it's a mess. Oy vey. So, coming back to this side, in this direction, hopefully getting semi-centered. And then let me call up my Chrome and let's get this done. We have Evermore Shores. Thumbs up and thank you. Geronimo, bow ties are cool. I bet they are. And then Zathras Pridum. Thumbs up and thank you. Dabbage Cabbage, greatly appreciated. STC Productions or Saint C Productions. Thumbs up and thank you. Memes for Life, RIP Kobe. Thumbs up and thank you. And B, greatly appreciated. Kathy Kitzkat, thumbs up and thank you. Bailey Snyder, greatly, greatly appreciated. Logan Furkey, thumbs up and thank you very much. We have Dumb History, greatly appreciated. Colin Reisenauer, thumbs up and thank you. Russian Timing, greatly appreciated. Tycho Hot. Keys, thumbs up and thank you. Sebastian Ferris, greatly appreciate. Protector Drone, I like the name. And Ali Shabiri, thumbs up and thank you. We have D A G D V E J E D A J D V E J D E R. I can't pronounce that, but thank you very, very much. And then we have Domination149, thumbs up and thank you. Uh, Jack Beach, greatly appreciated. We have, boy, hopefully, uh, I can't pronounce this properly, but C-U-I-M-I-A Gamer. But it looks like it's got some little accents that means it's Vietnamese. So, And then we have Jolly Average, greatly appreciated. M-Y-T-I-U-N, thumbs up and thank you. And then we have Batman, big fan, greatly appreciated. And last but not least, Adi Kumar, 2010, thumbs up and thank you all so very, very much. You get me out of my head, <laughs> into the world, dealing with real people, and that's definitely a thumbs up. Thank you so very, very much. It is appreciated to no end. Pull my shirt straight. And if you could check out my various links down below, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. If you wanted to help support me but didn't want to send money to one of those two places, I have a PayPal link down below. Check that out. That would be very, very cool. And if you wanted to help support me but didn't want to send money, excuse me trying to think if I had done it and said everything and then got lost in my head. My sincere apologies. I have an Amazon wish list link down below if you could check that out as well. Now, 
do not feel obligated. Boy, I just lost my tongue use all together here. My sincere apologies. Do not feel obligated. I do not feel entitled. And if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. If you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence. A definite thumbs up. And of course, if you could subscribe to the channel and <coughs> hit that bell. That would be very cool, greatly appreciated. I would understand if you did not wish to, but if you are down with it, I will do my very best to keep you entertained from now to the literal end of time. Very cool. And definitely a thumbs up. So I have this video, I got another video, I need to record something, hopefully a Reddit reading reaction or some such, we'll have to see, definitely a cool thing. <coughs> Excuse me. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend, and that is a very good thing.